Hi, it's John, and welcome once again to Jam Life Sydney. It's Tech Talk time again, and today we're talking about vlogging accessories for the Sony ZV-1 and Zhiyun Crane M2. And hot off the press this morning, some Sony ZV-1 cages from Small Rig. If you're new here, please subscribe. We would really appreciate your support. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and ring the bell so that you can be notified every time we upload a new video. So let's show you how to create a professional rig with these vlogging accessories. Up next. So before we get into it, I will link all these accessories in the description section below. So you guys know where to get them if you are interested. And hot off the press this morning, these two Sony ZV-1 vlogging cages from Small Rig. One with a wooden handle, they're both available middle of July. And they are the first accessories we have found made especially for the Sony ZV-1 camera. And we'll review them for you as soon as they become available. So let's move into what's currently available then. So firstly, let's turn to something I use on all my Sony cameras, and that's this Peak Design Standard Plate. It's not only compact, but it's ARCA compatible. So not only does it work with this Peak Design Capture, which is awesome by the way, and if you've not seen the Peak Design Capture before, it's a way of attaching your camera to say a bag, strap, etc. I just love Peak Design, but that's a whole other video. What the plate does is make the camera compatible with any ARCA quick release plate. So for example, on this Sony shooting grip here, we have attached the small rig archetype quick release clamp as we have on most of our tripods. And now with the Peak Design plate, we can attach to any ARCA clamp, whether it be on tripod or even a gimbal. So now you can mount the camera to something really, really quickly. And let's talk about this Sony wireless shooting grip. Sony calls it the shooting grip with wireless remote commander. GP, VPT, 2BT, what a mouthful. I've had this Sony shooting grip for a while now and it also works great with my A7 III and A6600, so just about any Sony camera. It feels great in the hand and also has a C1 button, which I've found really handy. And as you can see, it also doubles as a tripod. And you can also use it as a wireless remote. When your camera is, say, on a large tripod, it doesn't have to be actually attached to the camera to work, which is really handy as well. So before we go on to accessories for the Crane M2, I just wanted to talk about external microphones. I think Sony's XYS T1M stereo mic that goes straight on to the multi-interface shoe is a great solution as there is no cable required. And it also comes complete with a great windshield. But for a fraction of the price, you can get the great Rode Video Micro, which I personally love and comes with a windshield as well. I think this mic's become a bit of an industry standard for vloggers. And another external mic that works very well is the very compact Rode Wireless Go. Have had this system for a while now and really don't know what I did without it. The transmitter and receiver are so tiny and they really suit the compact size of the ZV-1. So onto the Crane M2 and firstly I wanted to talk about the Small Rig Arca Quick Release Plate. This plate specifically designed for the Crane M2 means you can now take the camera on and off the gimbal very quickly with that Peak Design plate I mentioned earlier. Next, again from Small Rig, is the side mounting plate. Again, designed specifically for the Crane M2. It fits perfectly on the side and allows more versatility. As you can see here from it, we've mounted this external monitor. And to mount the monitor, I'm using the great Small Rig articulating arm with double ball heads, which allows me to position the screen wherever I need it. And talking of external monitors, I'm using the Small HD Focus 5 which is a battery powered monitor and it's very light and robust. I can highly recommend it for this size setup. An external monitor with a bigger size screens makes all the difference when you can better see the shot. 
and are more likely to nail the focus or frame the shot well. You can also hold the side of the monitor here and I found that perfect for further stabilizing the shot. And if you're outside with sun glare on the screen, the small rig cage with sun hood is a great addition to the Focus 5. It protects the screen and gives you more mounting points and also this great sun hood. But if you're shooting inside away from the sun, you may not want to use it as it adds a little bit of weight to the setup. So that's it for just now, but we have been informed by Small Rig that there's going to be lots of ZV-1 specific accessories coming out. And also they do have those cages releasing middle of July and we'll be back to report on those as soon as they come available. But until next time, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell and give us a big thumbs up. And we've got a lot more to come on the Sony ZV-1 camera, so do ring that bell and stay tuned. Until then, I hope we helped you out and we will see you real soon. Yeah.